I'm standing in front of a giant player's head here at the UTSA baseball field where I just got done doing a one-on-one -on -one interview with Patrick Hallmark. UTSA will now have a new baseball coach next season. And according to Hallmark, it was a surprise for a coach that spent so much time with the UIW Cardinals. I know that you guys were playing here a few months ago. Did you have any idea standing on this field that within a couple of months you would be the head coach of the UTSA Warriors? None. Zero. Uh, it, you know, it was the first thing from my mind because I was trying to win that game. <laughs> uh, never dawned on me or, or even really thought about it much. You know, in the season you're so focused on that game. And then, of course, we were in the middle of, I think we were a game out of first place at the time. So we were so absorbed and wrapped up in, in what was going on across campus. It seems when you get these kind of jobs as a coach, it's usually from city to city, state to state. Right. How strange is it for you to be moving from basically this part of the city to another part of the city. It's definitely different. You know, I've made a couple other moves in, in my coaching career and they were they were state to state. So moving, you know, moving trucks and, and moving fees and all that. And, and it's actually right here in the same city. And in terms of my house, it's it's closer. Is this semi-orange shirt kind of school pride for you right now? Absolutely. With the orange and blue? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I kind of went through the closet and, and, uh, and, and I had this one. He seemed pretty stoked about not having to pay for that U-Haul to get him to a different city. He's glad to stay in the Alamo City. I'm actually standing in front of the big head of a player that he'll eventually coach next season for the UTSA Roadrunners, where the runners are hoping that the winning ways of UIW will translate over to the program. With Sports Tonight from the UTSA baseball field, I'm Kyle Spishak.